So you're on the home screen on the brand new Chromecast with Google TV, and you don't particularly like this layout, all of these adverts, all of these uh, sponsored content, and of course you really can't customize uh, this home screen at all. What can you do? Well, on my screen, if I press the home button, we are now inside a custom launcher, which is fully customizable. I can organize my applications exactly how I like them. I can create folders. I can change the background. I can even use widgets, as we can just see with that weather widget in the background. And the key thing is, guys, with the custom launcher, we don't see any more sponsored content, no more promoted applications or none of that stuff. In this video today, let me show you how you can also install a custom launcher on your new Chromecast and then fully customize it, including widgets. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. And let's now open up Downloader and let's just search for TD UK. In fact, Tech Doctor UK. I just love the voice search. Okay, let's just search for that. There it is. Let's click on that. And as soon as you get to my website, you want to head over to the hamburger menu and then click on tutorials because I've created a dedicated tutorial on how you can use a custom launcher on the brand new Chromecast with Google TV. Let's open that up. Here it is. Let's scroll down. Here's just one of the screenshots that one of my uh, members sent me. Just to show you like, you know, what's possible in terms of how you can really fully customize your launcher. And then here we have the step-by-step -step instructions. I had to enable the installation from unknown sources. Let's keep going down. And we're looking for the bit where it says software needed. Now, if you're not interested in widgets, the only two things you need to install are the button mapper, and then of course the custom wolf launcher for the chromecast.tv. If you want to also install widgets as well, you also need to install remote ADB shell. So once you've installed those three applications, let me just show you that one command because if you want to use widgets on your Chromecast, you do have to run a single ADB command. And the great thing is we can actually use our phones to copy and paste this command. If I just scroll down. So basically that's the command we need to type in onto our Chromecast, either by using the phone or by just using the remote control. But just to make the process as easy as possible and to minimize any typing, I'm just going to use the standard Android TV uh, remote control application, which is available both for iOS and Android, and just use that to copy and paste this one line into remote ADB shell. Okay, let's now press the home key. The last application I recommend is an application called Sideload Launcher. So let me just search for that side load launcher app here it is and this application will basically show you all of your side loaded or your third party applications installed on your chromecast so let's open that up we can see i've already installed it so here is the new wolf launcher and here is button mapper so let's open button mapper first so when you start this application for the first time you'll see this prompt asking you that you need to assign the accessibility service permission to use button mapper so let's do that now let's click on ok Let's go to settings, let's go to system. And there we have the accessibility. So let's click on that. And we should now see a service for button mapper. So here it is. Let's now click on that. And we want to now enable that service. So let's click on that again. Click on okay. And that takes you then straight into button mapper. Now here we can customize what each of these buttons do. So effectively you're mapping or remapping the stock buttons on your remote to do custom actions. So for example, the Netflix button over here, I could remap that and say, the next time I press that, open um, my settings application or open YouTube or something else. But in our example, because we want to use a custom launcher, I'm gonna click on the home button. And we now have three distinct actions we can do just with that single button. So I could single tap the home key, I can double tap it, and I can even do a long press action. But for now, let's just click on single tap and it's now asking you the next time you press the home key what action do you want it to perform in our case we're going to go to actions at the top and let's now select applications because we're saying that the next time you press the home key it should launch this application and the application we're going to use in this demonstration is the custom version of wolf launcher which is just down here let's leave that as is let's scroll down and then we have the double tap so i'm also going to customize that and I'm gonna say the next time I double tap the home key, I would like it to open up the quick setting. So let's leave that. 
and I'm not going to change the long press. So let's now see what happens when I press the home key. One click. And just like that, guys, we are now inside our custom launcher. So do give a thumbs up for that. Now, of course, the first time you start Wolf, it's not going to look like this, but we can easily customize it and make it look exactly how we like it. Now, the first thing I like to do in Wolf is change the background. Now, the easiest way to do that, I just find is to use Downloader and to find some backgrounds yourself. So let's quickly demonstrate that. Let's open up Downloader. And in the search box, I'm just going to type in, in fact, I'm just going to say 1080p wallpaper. Perfect. Let's click on that. And this will now do a Google search for that term. Okay, so let's scroll down from the adverts. Let's just go to the first one, which is uh, unsplash.com. And now let's now find a couple of nice wallpapers for this test. That's a nice one there. So let's go down and let's now click on download. I can now click on done. Let's just do one more just for the demonstration. Let's keep going down. Well, that's a very nice one. Okay, let's go for the cityscape. Click on download again. And click on done. So just like that, we've downloaded two wallpapers. Let's now actually use them. Let's press the home key. So the way we access the launcher settings, if you go to the top here, so we see the top tile is highlighted. I can now press and hold the select button. I can go to launcher settings, then go to wallpaper. Now by default, this is actually unticked. So make sure you've ticked this first. And I can now click on select wallpaper. I'm now gonna browse my internal storage. And basically anything that you download using the downloader application appears in the downloader folder. So let's keep going down. So not the download folder, but the downloader folder. So let's click on that. And here are all the wallpapers, guys, that we've downloaded. So which was one of the new ones? This one here. And we also had the new cityscape. And right, let's try this one. You click on that, give that a second. And we now have this beautiful wallpaper working absolutely fine. So that's the first thing I like to customize, which is just the wallpaper. The next thing I like to do is actually adjust the size of these tiles. So depending on the size of your TV or how you particularly like it, you can tweak the size of these. And again, let's go back to the launcher settings. Let's now go to sections. Let's click on applications. So the first thing we can do is decide whether we want to show the title or not. And so that's now hidden. And there's a the title back again. But the main thing I like to do is to sort out the number of columns or to adjust the number of columns. So here we can see I'm using uh, eight columns. But if I click on that, I can now drag to the left. And here, for example, we can see I'm now using four columns. If I press the back button to apply that back again. So here we can see, guys, that now the tiles are much larger. So maybe you prefer it in that style or maybe if you sit far away from the TV, you can make the tiles much bigger so they're actually um, easier to see. Now we can see that change I made was just for the applications section. The other sections for streaming and gaming are still using the small size, but let me just adjust this as well. But you can see guys, it's very, very easy to customize. You can spend maybe 10 or 15 minutes and get the launch looking exactly how you like it. And of course, without any adverts, uh, move to section, utilities, let's go down. Oh, we can see this is actually the default size, but actually that looks all right. So here we have my applications, here are my utilities. And under that, I've got my other sections. And the last thing I like to do is to add widgets to the home screen. Now to do the first part, we're going to use an application called Remote ADB Shell. Let's open that up. And because we're making a local connection to ourselves, we can leave the IP address as just 127.0.0.1. Let's now click on connect. Now if you see this prompt, just click on always allow and click on allow again. And we now see the Sabrina prompt. So this is why the device was actually codenamed Sabrina. Let's back out of that. So we now need to type in that one command just to give us the permissions to use widgets. Now, as I said before, the easiest way to do that is just by using the Android TV application. So here we can just see my cell phone on the screen and this is what the Android TV application uh, looks like. So it allows you to navigate. Uh, I can now, for example, press the home key, get back to my launcher and so on and so forth. Uh, let's go back into Remote DB Shell. Okay, so we're back in. Now, what we're looking to do here is to copy and paste that command. So to do that, let me uh, go back to my website. And here is that same tutorial page. I can now scroll down, find that one command. Uh, it's just under here, under widgets. Here it is. Let's now press and hold that. Let me highlight the whole line. Okay, so it ends in user zero. Once you've highlighted the whole line, let's now click on copy. 
That's now copied. I can now go back to the Android TV application. And we can see it, guys. For example, if I type anything in, that now appears on the screen. But what we want to do is paste that line in. So let me just press and hold here. Click on paste. And that's now been pasted in. So I can now just get the remote control. I can now navigate to the tick to run the command. Press on that. And as long as you don't see any errors, that means your device is now ready to use widgets. Let's now press the home key again. Okay, so that was the first part. Next up, we need to actually install some applications which have those widget support. So let's go over to appdoid.tv, which is also available on my website. Now, typically these widgets are actually designed for uh, tablets and cell phones. So not all of them are going to work on your Chromecast, but one of the ones I always use, which definitely works for me, is if I just search for weather, is this one here, the one that's got the 3.2 rating. So if you install that one, I can now press the home key again. Go to the top here. I can now press and hold here and select pick a widget. And we can now see the new ones in here. So let's just go for uh, this one over here. And that's the widgets on our custom launcher all working fine. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Now, before I just go, let me just say that this particular process does require the button mapper. And I'm not fully happy with it because ideally I'd like to use this process without using any extra applications. And just on that, guys, if anybody's still watching, look at this application over here. So this is the one I'm working on in the background with my developer. And with this version, once this actually starts working, we're not going to need any more third party applications. We can literally just click on disable stock launcher and we can then start enjoying our custom launchers on any Android TV device. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you are subscribed. Many thanks for your likes and shares and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.